Welcome to 5 Minute Tool Reviews where I do my best to review a tool in 5 minutes or less. My name is Robert Daly, I'm the owner of Daly Woodworks and I am a professional furniture and cabinet maker with a background in residential construction. So this is one of my favorite tools of all time, the Makita XTR01 cordless brushless 18 volt palm trim router. I've owned this tool for about two, two and a half years, something like that. I bought it for Christmas a few years ago. It is still going strong, just as powerful as the day I bought it, and does everything I need it to do, and more, because I do kind of push this thing beyond what you should be doing with a trim router. As you can see here, it comes with several bases. This is the plunge base, which... You don't have to buy with this. You can buy it separately or you can buy it as a kit. But absolutely, I'd a thousand percent recommend you go ahead and get the plunge base. It makes this tool phenomenal. It's got tons of adjustments, adjustable depth stops. So if you're doing dados and you're doing smaller passes, then you can adjust these for the depth of cut. You've got a micro adjust here. It's easy to set the depth on. And it has frankly mediocre dust collection on the bottom here you can see that it has a little silver plate I had to buy that separately which is a little ding against this guy for a router bushing so if you're doing any template stuff you need to get this or they make some frankly f pretty flimsy little metal inserts that pop in here and just screw into place the nice thing, however, is you can take this guy out so you can really see what you're doing, especially if you're going to do like any sign making, things like that, um, or using a larger bit, because I have put about an inch and three quarter uh, bit in here um, to do some work before. What makes the Makita cordless router one to buy? Well, first of all, I'd say it is the track adaption abilities so you can use this with your Makita track or your Fez tool track this rides on here like this and then you can use that for dados things like that makes it very quick very easy um, of course most of the time this router is designed to put roundovers on things and that's what I use it for 90% of the time however I do cut dados with it and it is shockingly powerful with a good bit I have cut a 3 8 inch deep three quarter inch wide dado in one pass it clearly was straining the router i don't recommend you do that but it can that's how powerful it is things i don't like about this because there's always going to be something i don't like about a tool would be this auxiliary fence is it works but it's chintzy it just it's not it's super simple and it does what it needs to do but it's far from being nice the other complaint I have, and you'll see this a lot in other reviews of this, is there's no micro adjust. To adjust the depth on this guy, you unclamp it and then it just goes. And then you have to really carefully dial this guy in to get your height right. Now it's not too hard because you can really, you know, you can hold it just right, hold your tongue right, get it where you need it, dial that in kind of half clamp it to get you know it where it'll hold in place but you can still dial a little bit but other routers like this um, my father-in-law just got the Milwaukee it has a micro adjust on it that is a nicer feature um, the cool thing is about this router is you can get it corded or cordless and they have four different bases you can put on this I had three of the bases at one time one was like an angle stop base but I never used it um, I tried using it a few times but I just never needed to use it but that's how quick and easy it is to switch it from plunge to fix base and it just comes right out of there so guys like tool curve do little 3d prints and stuff like this this is a dust collection uh, hose adapter for fez tool dust collections they also make different jigs accessories that go with the tracks where you can even do uh, shelf pins with it. And that's just a little aftermarket jig you can buy for it. They make it for other routers too. So this router essentially for me replaces any other handheld router that I have. 
I have two router tables and have as many router tables as you can get. And then if I'm sl flattening a slab, I'll pull out my 13 or 14 amp router and put it in my router sled. Um, but other than that, for almost everything I'm going to do with a handheld router, this guy covers it. Um, affiliate links will be in the description below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more 5-Minute Tool Reviews. We'll see you next time.